Today was a very rainy day, but I was set out to take my 670cc V-twin buggy for its first top speed run. After the run, I planned to pull the engine and modify it. Now little did I know that I had overlooked something that had almost cost me my life. Alright, let's take it out for a run. So let's slow this footage down and I'm going to try to break down what happened. So if you remember, I did not put on a helmet and I did not put on my seat belts. I was in a hurry to get this video done. Now coming around this turn, I knew it was a very dangerous turn. That's why I had let my foot off the gas. Five seconds later, my throttle went wide open and I started panicking. As you can see, the buggy was gaining speed fast. I stabbed the brakes and they only made things worse. So here you see, I flick my steering wheel to the right in an attempt to drift it around the corner, but with the buggy going way too fast, the center gravity way too high, and the weather way too bad, we went straight into the house. Here the GPS tells me I was going 32 miles per hour, my GoPro bounced up and stopped recording right before the accident. Of course, I had no way of turning this motor off. No kill switch, no clutch. And guys, I ask that you do not leave any disrespectful comments. All this is in the past. Man, my knee hurts like crazy. We are here at the hospital and my leg, my left leg hurts really bad. I'm hoping it's just nothing too crazy because I really got to get back to uploading videos. It's not looking too good, but it's always important to keep a positive outlook. Well guys, it is 6 in the morning and today we are finally headed for surgery after waiting for the swelling to go down for like two weeks. The pain was incredible, but uh, we're finally going to surgery and we're going to get into even more pain. So yay. So check this out guys, this is how I have to transport myself. Four screws, two right here, two right here going straight into my bone. We got these carbon fiber rods to hold everything together. Well, yeah, we're on our way to the ER, so I'll see y'all there. Well, guys, as you can see, our surgery went okay, pretty good. As you can see, you have a whole bunch of metal in our foot. Um, they had to block off our nerves. But other than that, we should be good. We should be out of the hospital in a few days. Guys, after about a month, I am finally able to at least get in this wheelchair and at least get pushed outside, but other than that, I can't do anything else. I still have limited motion on this leg, and uh, it's very, it can be sometimes pretty painful. So guys, I'm going to be talking about some really important stuff, what's going to be going on with the channel. Meanwhile, I'm just going to try to start from fresh and 
work my way up and try to explain what happened, the consequences. So for those of you that haven't watched the 670cc build, this used to be a 150cc Chinese dune buggy and we've tripled the power on it and the thing just is incredibly fast, it flies, it's not even at its full potential. I am definitely going to be building up this motor in the future, but the motor is definitely not a slouch. I think what had happened was the motor shifted, it got the throttle cable stuck, and it sent me right into a house. Since I wasn't strapped down with belts, no helmet, I didn't really have the confidence, and uh, I braced myself, and I think my knee just kind of hit the wheel. If you do the math here, that's a 700 pound buggy moving at 35 miles per hour. That's a heck of a lot of newton meters of torque. All that energy has to go down somewhere and it went right below my knee into my tibia, my left leg, and it absolutely destroyed it. The doctor put it on about a 5 out of 10 scale. He said he's seen much worse, but it was definitely very painful for me. Before surgery and after surgery, it was some of the most pain I've had experienced in my life. I did smash into the house pretty badly and it is damaged. The foundation and the siding is damaged. The owner was cool and he agreed to let us sort it out with our insurances and stuff like that. The buggy took the impact exactly how it's supposed to. The bumper bar caught most of the impact and the whole left side of it is completely destroyed. I believe Go Power Sports does sell the replacement parts for this buggy everything we need so I hope I hope they do I don't believe the frame shifted even if it did it's not a big deal so yeah so in the time being I actually had two surgeries happen to me in extremely a lot of pain the first time there was too much swelling so they had to put an external fixator on my bones to keep him from flexing then about three weeks later we came in for our surgery on Friday it took about four and a half hours plus three hours of recovery first day wasn't bad, the second and the third day were extremely, extremely painful. If you can avoid breaking a bone, definitely avoid so, it is very painful. Once you compromise your bone, it's never going to be back to OEM standards. There's always going to be some metal in your leg or whatever. So guys, just don't. Always be safe, always wear a helmet, proper gear, boots. One of the reasons I couldn't stop this thing is because of a lack of a kill switch. Yeah, that's, I was in a bit of a rush. That's a bit of my incompetence and laziness. It actually happened once before, but it was pretty much a lack of a kill switch. So guys, first thing you do before a test drive, be sure you have the kill switch mounted up. Me, myself, I don't classify myself as doing half-ass work. In fact, I put my passion in everything and I try to make it to the best of my abilities. I just want to say guys that's really important. Funny thing is these 670s always go bad. A YouTuber named Redbeard's Garage had his go up in flames. Cars and cameras had theirs flip over and one of their guys was injured and I topped it off and ran into a wall and broke my leg. So uh, it's a big lesson for me. Them 670s, they bite. They definitely, they definitely bite. The doctor said I can't walk until a few weeks, I can't put pressure on my leg. It's going to be about an 8 to 12 week healing period for this bone before I can put pressure on my leg. Luckily I'm a young guy. So what is going to happen to the channel? Well I think it's going to have to slow down by a lot. Once I'm able to limp around the shop and crutches and just sit down and, and work lightly, I think I might be able to get a video out every week and probably make a few welding videos, a few review videos. It's not like all hope is lost, but our channel is going to slow down. So best thing you can do for me guys is just go rewatch my older videos, share the video, share this video. Maybe we can get this video on a trending page. That would be awesome. If you by chance would like to donate to the channel via PayPal or Patreon, I would highly appreciate it. I've also been working on some merch. Finally, you guys have been asking for it. We got the Vasily Build shirt in a few colors. Ugh. Then we got this other color. We got a few more colors. I also got another design for y'all. Well, guys, I'm going to have to wrap this thing up. It definitely was a huge lesson for me. Thank God I'm still alive and it's not worse. I just kind of take it as a learning experience. Be careful. You know, life is it's different for everyone, and it usually doesn't go as you plan. Again, I want to thank you guys. Share this video around. Hit that like button down below. But yeah, guys, it is extremely painful sitting here. I'm going to have to see you in the next video.
Peace and God bless.